Hey there, people. It's freaking break time, so decided to come out, hack a dart, and vlog a little. Yeah. So, tomorrow will be my Saturday, fake Saturday. We're gonna go sit in the car because it's pretty windy out and it's probably just garbling up the audio. But, uh, I was gonna do the body work on my car. Phone keeps saying it's gonna rain tomorrow. But uh, basically I'm gonna show you what I wanna do so you get an idea as to what needs to be done. Now obviously this is getting worse. Let's fucking rip that off. Paint's coming off there. I'm gonna need to sand all that down. Sand all that, down. just blast it all as much as possible. Clean up the, uh, the rust, prime, and paint. Now I'm not looking to do a super pro AM job or anything. I just want to cover it up so it doesn't rot any further and be done with it, okay? Now the main dilemma with this is, well, they're calling for rain today and tomorrow. It didn't rain yet today, but it's supposed to formulate overnight and then piss tomorrow. And if it's raining, I can't be painting because I need it to be clear skies while I paint because I'm doing it outside. I'm doing it right in the friggin' driveway. I'm not pulling her into the garage. I don't care about if molecules get into the into the paint and give it a bumpy finish. I don't give a shit about that. I just want it to be covered up. If it's raining, obviously it won't be happening. Uh, I got other things I want to do at the house. Like I got shit that I want to reorganize in the entrance way. Some vacuuming to do, some cleanup to do, some other things to do, get shit clean. Um, and if I do, if I wake up tomorrow and it's sunny and the Weather Network app is lying, then we're taking a trip down to the lakeshore side of town, which is like right over there, over that big bridge, which you won't be able to see because there's houses and shit in the way. And we're gonna go to the paint shop and we're gonna grab ourselves a rattle can of denim blue and some primer, some clear coat, head her back home, bust out the orbital sander, blast the, uh, the, the, the hard to reach spots, like the, uh, sorry, the, bleh, blast the trouble spots, clean it up, prime, paint, fucking done. Hopefully the car looks a little better. Also, it's been a pretty slow shift tonight, so I was able to remote into my, uh, my gaming computer, the XPS 8300 by Dell, and I was able to repair, or actually fix, no, uh, repair is the right word for this. I was able to repair the Hopage install, and now everything works fine. I had to go into the registry, I deleted all the Hopage information in the registry, uninstalled the program, deleted all traces of it from my hard drive. In the end, it was like the system never had the software on it. Then I did a reboot, got back in, downloaded the new software, reinstalled it, and lo and behold, I have access to everything. All my settings, all controls, everything. The program is working mint. So bonus this goes back to my whole keeping the playstation 3 upstairs and recording video with it oh because i still want to finish red dead redemption which i'm probably maybe possibly going to play tonight after i get home from work seeing how grand theft auto for ps3 is running like a bag of shit uh red dead redemption seems like the logical choice that and I'm, i really want to do i like i need to beat that game that's a rock star game that i'm letting you eat late i can't even talk today people fuck i'm still groggy as shit i had another coffee when we came in and still not feeling the friggin happy times you know what i mean still not feeling super friggin awesome and I really don't want to overdo it on the coffee because if I drink like four or five cups, it's not going to hit me now. But once that sun goes down and the moon comes up, I'm going to kick into high gear and I'm going to feel freaking awake and I won't be getting to bed till like nine in the morning. And I hate when that happens. That's why I usually don't drink coffee after 8 p.m. Because if I do drink coffee after 8 p.m., I'm going to bed at 9 a.m. And when you got to be up at 2 p.m. to get ready for work, well, let's just say that waking up at uh, or going to bed at 9 a.m. is not a good time. Five hours of sleep, never a good time. Well, at least for me anyway. Used to be able to do it, not anymore. Friggin' age kicked in, friggin' age. So I'm glad I got the whole podge working properly again. Now if we can just get Rockstar to give us a little bit more leeway till mid-November on fucking Grand Theft Auto, we'd be set. But I know I'm just beating a dead horse with that request, right? The real solution is go next gen or get the fuck off the consoles <laughs> because uh, that's what it seems like. Like the game runs fine until I go online and then shit's just not updating and acting a fool and whatnot. So besides next gen has a lot more content than previous gen. So, and I really, 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 really want to get a fucking PS4 because that's going to be awesome. So awesome that I'm thinking about selling the one thing I hate to buy something I want i.e. the MacBook. Thinking about selling the MacBook so I can get my tits a uh, PS4. And to all the people who are like, you don't have, no, that computer's only worth like $300. Well, here's the thing. If I let it go for $300, I'm a fucking moron. End of story. Because there's an old MacBook with a Core 2 Duo 2.4 gigahertz right now. It was going on Kijiji yesterday for $700. It's not there today. 
which means it's sold. So the fact that that piece of shit went for $700 and somebody bought it, if I ask a grand for my i7 MacBook, chances are I'm gonna get it. Cause I'm thinking about packing that thing up and putting the old dirty Acer there. I fucked the Acer over doing the Microsoft scam. I wanted to see what happens when you install the program, just so I can get an idea. And it really fucks the computer right up. Like it root kits the piss out of it. So I reformatted the rig and now it's running great again. But um, I wanna put my Acer there, my little Acer Timeline X, because I'm sick of using the MacBook and having it fuck up the file orientations on Google+. And by Google+, I mean Google Drive. Wake up, Adam! So, that's my plan. That's my plan, is to pack up, the, I'm gonna probably reformat the MacBook, uh, delete all user accounts on it, delete all files on it, reformat it back to factory, sell it as is, where is, uh, probably um, go from there. Thinking about taking the SSD out of it though, and um, I might do that or I might not, I'm not sure. I might leave it the way it is and sell it with the SSD because it's not an awesome SSD. It's not a mushkin. It's a fucking, uh, I can't even remember the brand of it, but it's like a shitty brand of SSD. They're good, but they're nowhere quick as, as quick as a mushkin is, that's for sure. So I'm thinking about getting rid of the, with the SSD, asking a thousand bucks. If somebody offers nine, I'll let it go. But um, then at least I'll have cash and I can go pick up a PS3 a little, or a PS4 a little sooner. That'd be all right. <laughs> thinking about it. I kind of don't want to get rid of it, but I kind of do want to get rid of it because I know I'll never use it and it's just, might as well dump it. I'm not a fan of Apple. It's just the way she goes. What are you doing? It's like one of those little pre-sheds. He must be freezing his furry little tits off. It's getting foggy in here cause I'm vaping big times. Anyway, it's friggin' uh, oh, pardon, end of break. Gotta get back inside and get back on the phones and get shit did, so. Probably talk to you guys again on my lunch, so then we'll go from there. So until we see each other again, peace the frig out. Hey guys, it's lunchtime. I'm back in my car, firing up my car. Because I'm gonna go to the beer store right now and pick up my beer for the weekend. So let's put her powder and have at her. Alrighty, let's do this. High speed drive to the beer store to pick up some liquor for the weekend. We're gonna go home and drop it off so it's nice and cold at midnight. Let's do this! Isn't it glorious? The Pilsners, tall boys, 24 of them. Lovely. Alrighty, beer's in the fridge. It's currently 8.22. We gotta get back to work. Let's do this! My stupid little hang down thing on my chin looks stupid. Yay! Yeah, I'm not gonna stress over the PlayStation 4 bullshit. I'll get one when I get one. I was just on Kijiji looking to see if anybody's selling any used PlayStation 4s for like, you know, 300 bucks or something. There's a guy on there selling a PlayStation 4 with all the wires and one controller. States it's a year old. He's asking 380 bucks. Brand new without a video game. You can get them for 400 bucks. 
this guy is off his rocker. So if I have to wait till November 11th or 12th to pick up a PlayStation 4, no big deal. I got other things to do that can tie me over till then. You know, seeing how Grand Theft Auto on PS3 is a pile of shit. It sucks though because some of the crew won't be able to jump over with us when we go to PS4. Like, I don't know if Chuchit's gonna have his. He said he's pre-ordering it, so he'll probably have it by then. I don't know if Bloke will have his. Chances are he won't. Um, who knows? Like, it all depends. And I honestly, well, Jetwash already has his, so right now it's just me, Bloke, Chooch, Sprite, Tim. It's about all I can think of are the regulars that play with us. I'm probably missing somebody, and if I am, I'm sorry, because Jet already has his. So that's usually what the crew insists of is us. So Jetwash is waiting on us to get PlayStation 4s, and I have a feeling he might have to wait a little longer than he anticipates because Christmas is around the corner too, so present buying's a thing. Luckily, uh, the way work works here is we end up paying too much for uh, income tax and EI. So come October, like my next check won't have income tax on it or EI because we overpaid. And it looks a little bigger on paper, still making the same amount of money or just not dishing out as much. So that's going to help, plus working all that overtime, uh, working the holiday Monday, that's going to help out too. So I'm pretty sure that we'll get our PlayStation by November, before the new year, that's for sure. So that'll be fucking right on. Hopefully everybody else does too, because we can't play Grand Theft Auto anymore. It's fucked. It's fucked. But anyway, I'm just gonna vape in my car for a bit, head her inside and finish the shift, and I'll talk to you guys at midnight. Well, hey there, people. Well, it's friggin' quarter to 11, and I think tonight we're gonna play some video games and shit. So I'm just gonna come over here to the smoker area to get out of the wind, maybe. Yeah, that didn't fucking work much. It's windier than shit out right now. Just watching Jetwash live streaming for the first time ever on his PlayStation 4 to YouTube. It's fucking working good. I'm gonna go sit in the car. Holy shit, the wind picked up out there. Yeah, he's only streaming on YouTube at 720p, and fuck my tits does it look crisp coming off the friggin' uh, the Sony PlayStation 3, uh, 4. <sighs> I'm loving that rig. That thing's got a lot of cool features. If I get that rig with the face cam and all that, that's gonna friggin' really up the game on the uh, live streaming for sure. So that's pretty exciting, pretty exciting indeed. But that made me realize something. With the abilities on both the Xbox One and the Sony PlayStation 3, or fuck, I keep saying 3, PlayStation 4, both being able to stream without any hardware, that almost semi kind of kills off the need to have a video capture card. Like, if you think about it, the PlayStation 4, I don't know about the Xbox, it probably can too, but the PlayStation 4 can record video. You can set your record path to be an external drive. You can plug a USB hard drive into it and set it there. It'll only record 15-minute clips, but that's enough for a YouTube video. You know, you edit it down to a 10-minute video, you're done. Or you record multiple clips and strip them together on a computer and you're done. So if it can do that and it can stream by itself without any third-party hardware, the consoles literally just slaughtered off the video capture card world, like independently killed them. Now the only way I could see that being false is there's some YouTubers out there that are running on Twitch that like to have like custom borders around their shit and all sorts of junk on there asking people to donate money and all that nonsense, and that's where those capture cards come in handy, so then you have full control over how your stream looks as far as layout and you're not running a stock Sony PlayStation look. But for me on YouTube, that's perfect. The layout they give you, fucking perfect. I don't need that, I don't need anything else. Like that's mint. So personally, I'm a big, big fan of the way it's set up. I'm anxious to go PlayStation 4. I'm anxious to start streaming with that setup, record some videos, make some funny highlights, go from there and just see how it turns out. I'm really excited for this. This is gonna be a fun, fun, fun thing. And um, the graphics fucking dominate, so that's even better. But all this is gonna do, sorry for all the vapiness, it's vaping here and I got the window closed to keep the friggin' wind out. But um, all that's gonna do is exactly like what happened to the camcorder world, right? Everybody started doing videos with their cell phones, because cell phones are getting pretty mint in the video production department, you know? Uh, I think uh, Adrian's Note 4 can do fucking 4K videos at 30 frames a second. So that's pretty awesome. So a lot of people are just using their cell phones to film vlogs and stuff. They're not using camcorders like what I'm using now. They're just basically getting by with their cell phones and producing pretty decent looking videos and pretty good sounding audio videos. So 
That's going to happen in the game capture card world. The only people left are going to be the people who can afford to stay afloat. Probably Hopage. Definitely Elgato. Don't know who else makes video capture cards, but other people might suffer, you know? It might hurt them in the long run, so that's kind of brutal, but it's the way of the game, right? Consoles evolved to the point where they don't need third-party devices to do the job, and that's pretty awesome. But tonight we're going to try Grand Theft Auto again after I get home from work and see if we can fucking stream and see if that shit's actually working right. I don't think it will be, but we'll see. So I'm going to shut her down here, boys. We're going to carry on. Probably tomorrow, we'll see what the weather's like, and if it's nice, we'll go get the shit and do do a friggin' redneck body job on the car. And if it's not nice, then we'll figure something else out. But as for me, I gotta go. Uh, I'm gonna head her back inside. I really gotta piss. I should've went for a piss before I came out here. Oh, I got the pee dance happening. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.